Hey, it's Jazz, and this is Wildlife Matters. And today, what I have here with me is a Philippine rat snake. So, in this episode, we are going to talk about the differences between a Philippine rat snake and the Philippine cobra because the two are often confused for one another, probably more than most snakes here in the Philippines. So, what I have here with me right now is the Philippine rat snake. So we are going to talk about this animal first. We're going to bring him out first because we don't want to handle this snake and have the cobra at the same time. This Philippine rat snake was actually rescued by a new friend, Mr. Gio Torres, who is right over there. <laughs> so the Philippine rat snake or the Philippine brown rat snake, also known as the reddish rat snake, is endemic to this country, which, which means that you can only find it here in the Philippines. It's called the Philippine rat snake because it eats rats. It will also feed on other small mammals. It also feeds on frogs, lizards, but what it's famous for really is it feeds on rats. This snake was found in a subdivision, which means that it's actually working as a pest control for that specific subdivision that it was found in. Well, the rescuer said that he it was found somewhere near a construction site and most likely while they were, you know, digging up the land there, it was probably scared away and that's why it was found wandering off outside. So this one is a juvenile rat snake and when I say juvenile, that means it's still young. It's still fairly young and adult Philippine rat snakes can actually grow to around seven feet maybe even more Kyle says he's seen he's seen one that's around seven feet so um, these guys can grow pretty much to decent big size for those of you guys who are wondering I'm sure this is the most important fact for everyone who's watching this video these snakes are non-venomous and that's probably the biggest and most important difference that the rat snake has with a cobra. So now that we've discussed what a Philippine rat snake is, now we are going to talk about the differences and how you can tell these guys apart from Philippine cobras. Okay, so now let's move on to how you can tell the difference based on their physical characteristics. So first of all, let's take a look at its head. Can you zoom in on the head right there? If you take a look at the head, it has a really small, cute head with really large eyes. And I think that's kind of a rat snake thing, huh? Because if you remember our video with the mountain rat snake, it also had a really small head with really large eyes. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. I mean, can you just get a load of those pupils? It has huge pupils. I mean, uh, it's so cute. And if you can't get a good view of its head, you can now move on and check out the body. So look at the body of this snake. It has a slender body, not as slender as vine snakes, of course, but it has a pretty slender body. And if you check out the tail, so if you check out the tail end, one obvious difference is it has a really long tail. And how can you tell where the tail is? Well, the tail is the much thinner end part of its body, as you can see right there. So the tail starts from here, right? After the cloaca or the place where it secretes pees, poops. You know what I mean? It's longer, it's thinner, unlike the Philippine cobras, which is much shorter, stubbier, not, not like this. And another way that you can tell if it's a Philippine cobra or a rat snake is the rat snake has an S form defense posture, meaning that its body will take the shape of an S when it's trying to be defensive. So those are one of the main ways that you can tell the difference between a Philippine rat snake and a cobra. And of course, like I said, Philippine rat snakes are non-venomous. So if you ever see it come inside of your home, there's really no reason to be afraid. Whether it's a rat snake or a cobra, whether it's a venomous snake or a non-venomous snake, there is no reason that we should kill them. Another difference that rat snakes have from Philippine cobras is in their scales. Philippine rat snakes actually have keeled scales. Now, what are keeled scales? Well, keeled scales basically look like this wherein the scales have that uh, we have to zoom in on this it's kind of hard to see but it has that sort of horizontal line in the middle you see it there we'll try to draw it out for you so it's, so it's much easier but they have that line 
in the middle of each scale. And uh, I know what you're thinking, like if you run into a snake, it's gonna be hard for you to check whether it has a keeled scale or not for sure. So the reason why I'm saying this is if ever you see a snake shed in your house and you wanna know if it's a cobra or a rat snake, if you check the snake shed, you will be able to see whether it has a keeled scale or not. In terms of where you can find them, Philippine rat snakes, they can be found whether you're in the province or in the city. Like I said, this one was found in a subdivision. And as for the Philippine cobra, you can usually find them in fields. And I just wanna show you how cool it is, because you know how I love camouflage. They can camouflage with the dry leaves right here. So if you take a look at the body of this snake, you probably wouldn't even notice the snake right in front of your eyes because it looks so similar in color to these dry leaves. Okay, so, so this is the Northern Philippine Spinning Cobra or in short, the Philippine Cobra. Now these cobras are endemic to the Philippines and they are one of only three species of cobras that we have in the country. These guys are typically found, well, mostly in the north areas, but they do have a wide distribution. And they are usually found in what we call palayan, or rice fields, basically agricultural fields. These guys grow from an average of about four to five feet long, and they are known to grow up to even about six feet. So these guys will mostly feed on animals like small rodents, just like the rat snake and also frogs or anything they come across that is just about the size of their, um, what they can swallow. Now this guy is potentially dangerous to us humans, even though they're venomous, not for us. These guys are venomous. They have mostly neurotoxic venom. So if this were to bite me, my nervous system would shut down and basically I'd have 30 minutes uh, in order to do something that could save my life. So this one is actually a rescue. It has um, scars on its snout that's already been healed, but it, they've been there from before. And that's because when this was rescued, it was actually kept in captivity where it was pushing itself against the container that it was kept in. So um, just imagine that it doesn't have that for now. When we compare this to a brown rat snake, at first sight, you would think they look very similar, right? Like the color, the body, it's easy to get confused with them, but how do we compare them from one another? Well, first, we take a look at the head. Cobras have an elliptical shaped head and moderately sized black eyes, unlike the brown rat snake that has a round head and really large eyes for its body. So here's an easy tip. Cobras, being venomous, have venom glands on the sides of their face looking like they actually have chubby cheeks. So think of that as a cute way to tell the head apart from the Philippine rat snake. So another distinct feature that the Philippine cobra, or any cobra has really, is that they have elongated ribs that they can spread out like a hood, like what it's doing right now. And they do that whenever they feel threatened. That's something that all cobras share. But even the head when it's not hooded, looks very distinct from its body. Unlike the brown rat snake, when you take a look at the scales, Philippine cobras do not have keeled scales. They have smooth scales. They have thicker, stockier bodies. And unlike the brown rat snake that has a long tail, these guys have shorter tails. So these guys come in different shades of this color. So this one is more yellow than brown, but sometimes they can be browner, they can be darker, or they can be even lighter. Another thing that they have different from the brown rat snake is that they have a different defense posture. When they are threatened, well, the brown rat snake forms a shape of an S and, well, they strike towards you. These guys are just like any other snake. Um, their first form of defense would be to run away. But if they feel cornered, they will spread out that hood and actually spit. Yes, these guys are spitters. That's why they're called the Northern Philippine Spitting Cobra because these guys will actually spit into the eyes of their threats. These guys are that smart. These guys, believe it or not, are as beneficial to us 
as the brown rat snake. Why? Another significant contribution these guys have for us humans is they are one of the main predators for animals like cane toads who are invasive and are destroying our crops. Not only do they make great pest control, but they are also crucial in saving the lives of human beings. In fact, the Philippine Cobra Antivenom or PCAV or the purified cobra antivenom is the only FDA approved and recognized antivenom that we have here in the country. And you know, it takes a lot of cobras for you to come up with a single vial of antivenom. You would have to make a lot of cobras. And that is why they are worth protecting because they are the exact things we need in order to save people who get into accidental bites from these creatures. One is really just not enough to come up with a single vial. So. We need to protect these species and not kill them because we need them in order to save more lives. So just because they're venomous, it doesn't mean that you have to kill them. It doesn't mean that they are actively looking to hurt you. As you can see, this guy is not trying to hurt me at all. It's just, you know, observing me, observing the environment. Cobras are actually very smart beings and they are visual hunters, so they like to keep watch. What should you do if ever you see a cobra? The best thing you can do is leave it alone, contact your authorities or any snake catcher that you know who is uh, capable of handling such species. Uh, and please, please don't kill them. They really don't mean any harm to you. Trying to kill them will actually cause you more harm because you trying to kill them will make them want to defend themselves. And a lot of the times, people don't win. If you don't want to see creatures like this going into your house, what do you do? So the best thing that you can do is to keep your house away from rodents. If there's no rats inside your house, then there's no reason for them to be there. They only go inside your house to hunt for those rodents. The best way to keep your house rodent free is to make sure that you don't have any trash lying around. Make sure that your house is clean. Make sure that you have pest control for those rats. If you guys do get bitten by a Philippine cobra, the best thing that you can do is immediately take yourself to the hospital. Please do not consult mga albularyo or quack quack doctors don't do any home remedies anything that you just read online that doesn't have any you know scientific backup don't believe what people say that you should suck out the venom or that you should apply a tourniquet or that you should slash the bite area and let yourself bleed out those things are not true what you should do is get yourself to the nearest hospital that has anti-venom if you guys know that there are cobras in your area the responsible thing to do is to do your research and already check out which hospitals nearby uh, will be able to administer anti-venom if ever anyone you know or yourself um, gets in contact and gets bitten by a Philippine cobra. These snakes will spend their time mostly hiding from humans. So if ever you see them out and about, then they're probably looking for some food, which again are not humans. Humans have been living closer and closer to the habitats of these animals and that is why we get encounters like this where snakes get into people's houses, get into people's villages. If ever they try to attack us, it's just mostly a form of defense. They're just trying to protect themselves. And if that's the case, it means that we are the actual threat. So it's very important that we, you know, keep ourselves informed and we understand that we all equally share this planet because every piece of wildlife matters. So now that you know all the facts, let's see how well you can tell the difference between a Philippine rat snake and a Philippine cobra. Number one. That's right, this is a Philippine cobra and you can tell by the head shape. Next. Again, this is another Philippine cobra, which you can tell through the shape of its body as well as the head and the tail. Okay, now this one. This is a Philippine rat snake, also known as a brown rat snake, which you can easily tell just by looking at the eyes and the shape of its head. Next. And you'll notice that this one is a cobra, thanks to its distinct head shape and the venom glands, which like I said, make it pop out looking like it has chubby cheeks. How about this one? That's right, just by looking at the yellow eyes alone, you can already tell that it's a rat snake. And last, 
That's right, a Philippine rat snake. And you can see that from the slender shape of its body as well as the shape of its head. That was it for today's episode. Special thanks to Gio for rescuing this Philippine rat snake. Here you go. You know, we need more people like him who will stand up for these animals and, you know, do the right thing by saving them, not killing them. So yeah, thank you for being a hero to no these problem. animals. No problem. What's up? <sighs> so we just finished shooting our um, footage with the Philippine Cobra. And just to show you that we are responsible Cobra handlers, we actually have the bite protocol that we got from the Florida Institute snake bite institute we have this everywhere we go whenever we are handling philippine cobras you know just to be sure that if ever accidents happen and sometimes accidents do occur we came prepared right right